What's going on guys? Today we're doing something a little different. We're going to be unboxing my brand new gaming PC. It's also going to be a streaming PC because my Mac was a little outdated to stream as well. So I'm pretty excited and instead of talking about it a bunch, let's just get right into it. Oh, and I should probably say the name of the PC, which if you click on the title you know the name, but it is the Gamer Extreme VR Ready 8020A4 by CyberCar. So, let's get into it. Alright. First thing here, we got a little box. Free one year antivirus subscription, very nice. Contact information. And oh, quick start guide. Okay. Cool. Looks like a power cable. Let's see. Oh, it actually comes with a wireless Wi Fi adapter. Very nice. I have an Ethernet connection, so I won't be using that. Uh, don't want to rip the box. This looks like the mouse, which is awesome because I don't have to go out and buy. I mean, I might eventually upgrade if I feel like I need to, but. Very nice mouse. I'll go up close on all these at the end just so you can see them all. Got a lot of buttons on the side, that's pretty cool. Alright. I'm gonna put these boxes back in for now. And just kind of move it out to the side so we got some space to work in. Next, looks like the keyboard. Ooh. Very nice. Comes in some nice lining. I do love the color theme on this kind of stuff. Black and red. Very nice. Definitely gonna be using this. It's awesome. Alright. I think that was it, yep. Okay. And I think all that we have left is the PC itself. Clear a little more room. Hopefully my cat doesn't knock over the computer. Flip 
why not? Like we got the side panel on this side. Got some packaging we gotta tear out. Here's the front. Very nice. Very nice. Got some ports up here. Here's the other side. Nothing on it, just in the case and in the back. So just to make sure all the wires are nice and snug. Here's what the inside of it looks like. Very nice, we got three fans here. Of course, LED. And we got an extra fan for the CPU there. And now I'm just gonna make sure all the wires are nice and snug. So here's the inside, what it looks like. Very nice. Very spacious, I love it. And then here's the back. Let's see, got a connection for our mouse and keyboard up here, which you can't see. Right here. DVI output, speakers, ethernet cable, USB 3s, HDMI. Um, so another USB for your mic or headphones, audio stuff I won't ever use. And it looks like we've got some more HDMI slots here, which is where you're going to want to put your HDMI cord. I'll probably just deal with that later. So, yeah, you want to put your HDMI cord here because it'll connect straight to your GPU. So make sure you don't put it here. All right. And I already showed you that side. Here's this up close, nice matte black finish. And there's that. Got some more ports right here. Power button, looks like mic, headphones, reset button. And some more USB 3s, which will be very useful. And then here's the mouse that comes with it. Very nice, feels very smooth. Very cool. I don't even know what these buttons on the side are for. I wonder if, what they can be programmed to, but that's awesome. Very nice. And then let's get the keyboard. Here's the keyboard that comes with it. Very nice feel to it. I like the color coding, of course. And I'm definitely going to use these. So, really thankful it came with it. Alright, so that is it for the unboxing portion. And let's get into the setup now. Hey guys, welcome back. We have everything set up to my right here. I'm about to show you in a second. I figured I wouldn't show you all the setup of the wires, mainly because I didn't have a lot of space. And also just because it would have made the video a lot longer. So without further ado, let's take a look. There it is in all its glory. Try and level it out. That's the side panel view. Pretty nice. Not as bright as they advertise it online. But it is very nice. I'll show it to you with the lights turned off too so you don't get that glare in the way. The front looks amazing like it does online looks awesome and then I got it hooked up to my TV on the left for my PC and then I have the TV on the right for my Xbox and PS4 keyboard and mouse fit perfectly on the desk not nothing I can complain about but yeah let me hit the lights really quick and I'll be right back 
All right, so this is what it looks like in the dark. We still do have a little bit of sunlight coming in through my window. As you can see, like a little glare on the side there in the front, but definitely the color is a lot better. I mean, this is this is amazing. I, I love this PC already. The sound is very quiet. Like, I don't even know if you guys can hear it. That's how quiet it is. This is a nice, low, steady hum. So I mean, overall, this PC looks amazing. And I can't wait to get started using it. But yeah, overall, just on look and build, I think it's very good for the price you get. As of right now, at the, as I upload this video, it's around $700, which isn't bad for a mid-range gaming PC. So I definitely recommend it. It looks amazing, and I can't wait to use it some more. Alright, and just in case anyone was wondering, here's I got all my plugs in the back. Nothing's in the front right now. I've got my Ethernet, a bunch of USB cables for the keyboard, mouse, this camera I'm using right now, and my USB microphone, my um, game capture card that's going to be used to uh, record and stream, and then also my mix amp for my headset. So it's a lot of stuff back there, pretty easy to set up, you can't miss it. So that is going to conclude it for today, like I said, I'd highly recommend this computer so far. Um, I might do an update after I've used it, depending on how well this video goes, and I can't wait to get used to it. And that's going to be it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.